1929 was a momentous year in the National Football League. During the July meeting, the league increased back to 12 teams. C.C. Pyle, the owner of the Yankees, did not attend the meeting, although it was just down the road from New York in Atlantic City. With this, the league decided that the Yankees forfeited their membership to the league. Staten Island and Orange, New Jersey were the newcomers, and Buffalo returned to the league to fill the gap vacated by the New York club. On Sunday, November 3rd, a rainstorm swamped Providence and Boston, causing the postponement of the two ball games. Providence decided to try something new for the makeup game. They hurriedly installed floodlights all around the cyclodrome. On Wednesday, history was made as the Chicago Cardinals shut out the Providence Steamroller in the first ever night game. From 1920 to 1931, the league determined the champion by the best winning percentage. Ties did not factor into the calculation. Also, teams determined their schedules dynamically, therefore clubs playing different number of games during any given season. As an example, a team with an 8-win, 2-loss, and 1-tie would have been declared champion over a team with a 9-win, 3-loss, and no-tie record. 1929 episode of The Starters features the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Green Bay needed a win in the final game to hold on to their championship over the New York Giants. Although the Bears were having a horrific season, the Packers knew it was never easy to win at Wrigley, especially with so much on the line. Please sit back and enjoy this edition of The Starters. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Wrigley.
Left end, number 22 from Marquette, Laverne Dillwig. Left tackle, number 33 from Pittsburgh, Bill Kerr. Left guard, number 36 from Penn State, Mike Mitchell. Center, number 38 from Monmouth, Joe Kerr. Right guard, number 32 from Alabama, Jim Bowen. Right tackle, number 39 from Centenary, Cal Hubbard. Right end, number 30, Dickie O'Donnell. Quarterback, number 16 from Marquette, Red Dunn. Left halfback, number 31 from Nebraska, Burn Llewellyn. Right halfback, number 10 from Illinois, Eddie Cole. Fullback, number 34 from Hamline, Carl Lindbergh. And head coach Earl Lambo and the rest of the Green Bay Packers. Now introducing the starting players for your Chicago Bears. Packers left nothing to doubt. Led by a star halfback, Eddie Kotel, Green Bay routed the Bears 25 to nothing. Even with Red Grange now on the team, there was nothing George Hallis' squad could do, losing for the third time that season to Green Bay. With the win, the Packers took their first ever championship. Thank you. 
When you're on a street, you hold things, you scare yourself, you're the ball.